let's see. I never know how many, you never know how many people are gonna show up. You just don't, you don't know. But it is cool to go live. Let's get this thing. Yeah, there we go. Oh man, hold on. Dang it, I meant to film a, a video before a, a before and after. You want to give these one? Uh, let me take this off. Take this off. Bro, let me catch you up though. <clears throat> so, I I got I finally got COVID. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I finally got it. Did you panic? No, no, I was good. <laughs> I um, the reaction. Mm. You know, when I first got the vaccination, I was more sick then than really? I was with COVID. It was nothing. All right. So I had to have gotten it at the gym oh. because I only go to the gym and home. Like you, so, know, you, know, you know why you go to the gym? Isn't it? Yeah, so I've been going to the gym. Mm. And so that's where I had to have gotten it. Mm. And it was crazy. Though. Like, so but it was like, because I was on my way to Dubai. Oh. Like I literally, like, like got to realize like, Four days prior mm. to me getting a positive test, mm -hmm. I was taking like home COVID test. I didn't want to like buy tickets and hotel to Dubai yeah. and then be like, I can't fly. Mm. So I took a test that day, like maybe like 11 o'clock, mm. right? In the morning, I mm. take a test, mm. negative. negative yeah. So then I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to go, because to go to Dubai, you got to take a PCR test. Yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna take a PCR test. But for me, uh, yeah, just take, just make it nice and neat. No, uh, take it down, take it down just a little. Okay. And then give me the fade, make me make me handsome again. Don't worry, man. And so then I was like, um, <clears throat> so I was just taking a PCR test for like, just because that's what you have to do. Like I didn't think I was sick. Yeah. And then, um, and then I take the test at like two. Mm -hmm. These fools call me at like five o'clock. Something about your. Uh, your, your results mm. is inconclusive. Mm -hmm. I was like, huh? Inconclusive? Mm. And then I like, and then I had just, but I had just bought the tickets. Mm. And then I was literally getting ready to press the button mm. to book the hotel mm. when the phone rang. Mm -hmm. and normally I don't pick up the phone because mm. if I don't know the number, I don't pick it up. Mm. And then they were like, it's inconclusive. We'll call you at seven o'clock before mm. we close to mm. tell you your results. Mm. Well, they call me at like right, you know, a few minutes before seven, mm. and tell me I'm positive. Really? Yeah, it was like you're positive, <clears throat> and so then I had to self isolate for like ten days. Really? Yeah, man. <laughs> um, wow. I was only sick for one day, mm. like where I felt like sick a little bit, mm. like I had the shivers. Mm. I said that I was fine, mm. and then um, I just got back from London. I was in London yesterday. All right. Yeah, man. Wow. So you you had COVID. I guess that's what they say, uh, but then you, like but I, you, but you never you, you never been, been sick, didn't you? Oh, bro, it was I was, the, the vaccine was way worse, like mm, way right, like yeah. way worse. I felt way worse, right. and I don't want to sound like um, you know, I don't want to sound like a, a active act, but that's just for me, my body. I was way, 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 what is way, way yeah. sicker I am, when I, I got am, the vaccine. I, am anti I know you are. I know you are. That's why I'm trying to convince you. I don't know why you gambling with your life. I, tr I trust my human, my natural human <coughs> system, you know. I, I, I've, I've had COVID. I yeah, know. Yeah, so since then, yeah, I've been in contact with people with COVID. Yeah, I, I, I never, I, I've never got sick again. You got that African immunity. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mind was somehow was somehow severe. Yeah, it was really? Tough, yeah, because really? I was struggling to breathe. But really? I go, yeah. I didn't go to the hospital. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was just staying home. And I, 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 I refused to resume. <laughs> because the more you stay in bed, man, the more <laughs> the wow. serious things. Yeah. yeah so you know. just got some rest and then yeah. <clears throat> recover. That's good, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, I, as you always say, we die. We, we, we were born one day, we die one day. We were born one day, we're gonna die yeah. one. But you the die, point is, it's like, but then this gets me thinking, like, if you die tomorrow, mm. what happens? You know, what are you gonna leave your family? You know, exactly. You know, what, what are you gonna leave? Are you gonna leave them dead? Because like for me, like, if I was to die right now, today, mm. my family would get like a million dollars. Like it's it, you know the longer I live the more money they will make. That's it. So because I got like I have insurance, mm. so it's I'm it. Well. Good, good, good. Because you, know, you, you know, like a lot of black people don't, not just black people. A lot of people act like they're gonna live forever. Yeah, yeah. And don't plan to yeah, die. Yeah. And it's just like, well, 
of course I'm gonna die one day, right? Yeah. So I gotta leave my family with something True. outside of just True. a bill. True. So the longer I, like my life insurance, like I have a life insurance policy. Mm. And for me, the longer I live, mm. the more they will make. Like yeah. if I live to like, if I live to like a hundred, yeah. like I have like what's called a, I have what's called a whole life. Mm. So like a lot of people get like term life, like mm. you're insured for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. Yeah. I got my whole life. Yeah. So, <clears throat> if I live to a hundred, mm. they'll get more money, even more money. Yeah. The longer I live, the more money they'll get. Mm. But if I die today, it's a million. Yeah, I think, I think, you know, I think here, you know, I want to say, you can, you, you can, you can, we, we, anything can kill us. Yeah. So, I mean, if it's COVID, or it's COVID, if, if it, that was my fate, yeah. die from COVID, oh, yeah. that's it. Yeah. So, I can, I can escape COVID, uh -huh. from an early accident. So those are the reasons why I don't want to panic. <coughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I don't want to panic. And I don't want to, 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 to be afraid of death. And then, as you said, yeah, if it comes, at least I've got, I've got, I've got my, my, my life insurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's important. It's important that, you know, you know <clears throat> to have some type of insurance of some type for yeah. death you, can you know you ain't got to be insured to like a, you know a million like me but yeah. you can get insured for five ten you one, know, one, one of my customers just to yeah. pay for like one of, one of my customers he, he came in last that last week mm -hmm. and the first thing he was telling me that Ziggy, you know what i've had covid i, I spent five days in bed really? seriously and you know this guy had had, had, had already had his booster Really? I have my boost. I got it in January, early January. It's January now. So I got it at the beginning of January. Yeah. But it's one of those things like I you know what before like yeah. when they called me, I was on my way to the gym, bro. Yeah. Like I was literally in my shirt, had my shorts on, yeah. and then they told me they were gonna call me at seven o'clock. I was you know, I was getting ready to book the like all I was gonna do was book the hotel. Once yeah. I pressed the this the, the confirm button, I was gonna walk out and go to the doggone gym. I was already dressed for the gym. Yeah. <clears throat> it's wow. crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah. So now, now they have uh, they have scrapped out. So uh, they, 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 no more, no more, no more restrictions. Yeah, no more restrictions. Like I was when I was in London. Mm. Um, you know, people were still wearing masks, but I would say like I did a count, and I would put it somewhere between twenty, maybe twenty-five percent mm. didn't wear a mask on the tube, mm. on the underground. I put it somewhere like twenty, twenty-five percent. One in five, one in six, something mm. like that. Yeah, you know, people, people, some, would, people some people, we stay, we, 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 we stay, we are remain, we, we keep wearing it because, you know, people have got a different understanding or different uh, personal opinion about it. Of course. As you always say, me normally, normally, to be honest, yeah, mm -hmm. to be honest, I, I believe, I trust more the immune system. And because I, I, I came to a point where I said, the vaccine is wrong, you know, for people, you know. It's just you say that, but I feel like it protected, you know, like mm. for what the for you know for the symptoms I had, psh, mm. I never felt sick outside of one day. It's the only day I was like, okay, I felt sick. Like mm. I was like, okay, I got a little sickness. Mm. But outside of that, these last like 12, 13 days, it's been. Psh, mm. I've been like sitting in the house, cooped up, bored, doing like just driving myself stir crazy. Couldn't go out. Couldn't go nowhere. Mm. Because I had no food in the house, right. zero. I had no food. Like, wow. And so once I was like, I can't go anywhere, mm. I had to like get on. I think I bought from um, Asda. Why do you call me to bring you food? Man? I had to like order all this shop food. I had nothing in the refrigerator. Nothing. Me, I had nothing. Because I was flying like, you know, a couple hours later. I was like, why would I buy food? And so, I, I also, you are a strong guy. Yeah. You, you don't fall sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was good though, man. Mm -hmm. So, weekend's finally here, which is good. Mm -hmm. See if I can... <coughs> How your kids doing? They're fine. They were, they were here. Did you, did you no, I've met them before. Yeah, but this, this new year. No, I haven't seen them this new year, oh, no. Yeah. They're big, man. Yeah, I bet. My boy is playing ground now. Ooh. Because it's, it's huge. Real sport. Yeah, man. 
Nah. See, I like rugby. It's 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 closer to uh, American football, so yeah. I really like it. But you know the thing? I don't know any, any rules. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any of the rules of rugby either. I don't know none of the rules. Now I need to come to yeah. Yeah. Oh, to my to football, yeah. football yeah. American football. Yeah. Yeah. You know? American football. I don't know yeah. Yeah. what is this called. Yeah. What are they called? Yeah. Because you see somebody just grabbing. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. it's it's yeah. yeah. the other one, and they, they never they never they, 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 they don't they don't consider it as a sport. Yeah. Did you see, did you see that, um, that uh, I saw a video of one of the, the American, one of the footballers mm -hmm. walking, walking around naked. Ah, Antonio Brown, he took yes. his uniform off? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, 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 what's wrong with that? Guy? He is a very, I wouldn't call him a normal person, no. What I would say is, oh, let's check the comments, let's see what we got. Yes, I agree that the reason I didn't get, I think that, so let's see, you can see and can hear, hi, hi Carly. It's all right, Carly, for missing. Here we go. So somebody just said, maybe because I got the vaccine is the reason why I didn't get sick. And I agree. I think the reason I got the vaccine and the booster is the reason why I, I didn't feel sick at all. You know, so it's hard to compare apples to apples. Like, I know when I got the first vaccine, I was sick. I was like, out. Out for the count. The whole day, out for the count. And even to the next day. Mm. But I got the vaccines, I got the booster, and I felt like I never lost my sense of taste, I never lost my sense of touch or mm. touch or smell, and I never was like tired. I didn't feel like exhausted. Mm. I just was like mm. literally one day I was like, okay, mm. I got to shiver. Like it was, I felt, you know, like when you get the flu, you feel cold. Yeah, yeah, like I felt yeah, cold that yeah. one night. Mm. I put another blanket on, mm. wrapped up, mm. and the next day I was fine. But another thing, you know, Something, something which made me <coughs> doubt about that, that, that thing, yeah? I know you're anti it, it, You know what? Ridiculous. Because I remember before before even the vaccine, mm -hmm. they were saying that uh, you can catch COVID and I can also catch it. But the way your body will react will be different different, uh, different, uh, different, uh, different, uh, different from, from, from mine because mine might be even, might be sick, might, might be But here's serious. the thing. This is the reason yeah. why I can't so, understand and, and, you anti-vaxxer. I can't. But, but how do you know this like it's like this like how do you know what your damn immune system How could you know your, your immune system? I, why gamble? Uh, like I'm not anti-vax. Like why even, gamble? Even vaccine is a gamble. Bull oh, crap! A vaccine is a gamble. How many people are in, in the hospital now? Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to irritate you, man. I don't you, but this is different. Top, different opinion. How yeah? many I, people are in the hospital? Yeah, Look. double checked. And even, uh, even, yeah, they're in the hospital. So for me, see, really, see, that's a false. This is the thing I that when I have these, these conversations. Yes, people who are double vaccinated, and even boosted, are in the hospital right around the corner of the Queens Medical. Mm. But you're equating like a small percentage of people compared to the overall per percent of people who are in there who have zero vaccination, who think like you. Like yeah. I don't, you know, for me, I don't care if you don't get it. You know, you don't want to get it. What I don't want. What I say is, let's have a debate or a conversation that is as close to that is as close to like facts as we can be. Like we can some baseline understanding, mm -hmm. because I don't want to compare. If there's a hundred people in the in the in the hospital right now, mm -hmm. let's not sit there and say, oh, 50, 50 of them have the va vaccine and fifty don't. It's not that. It's like eighty don't have the vaccine and twenty do, and yeah. that right there tells you like it's better to have the vaccine than not to. You know, I'm saying I don't want to be in the hospital because people keep saying it's like the flu. Now, how many people go to the hospital for the flu? You know, hey, come. You know, did you have, have you ever gone to the hospital in your whole life? Have you ever gone to the hospital for the flu? I've I've, got, I've been in a hospital for for malaria. Yeah, but well, you're you an African African, so of yeah, course you have malaria. Theory, yeah? You know the reason why I'm saying this is not, not I'm not, I'm not getting this information from nowhere. Last week, yeah, I had I I trained a, a doctor, and this guy has been on the front line from day one. Yeah, when these things uh, started, yeah, mm -hmm. and this guy. He, has, he refused to take his vaccine. He hasn't taken any, any vaccine. Doctor. But you, I think you have to now. Now, now what he, I ask him now, guys, what, what is going to happen when they start sucking you? They start uh, giving you the sack. Yeah. 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 He said, no, man, I'm not going to take the vaccine because I've been working in this situation 
the only thing can know that if you have got your, your immune system is strong, like and, and you have to read there, there is a way. How does one now, know what, you what, what, what you their yeah? immune system is? And this is like I guy. think I have a good immune system. Yeah. But that's just me guessing. How the hell am I supposed yes, to really this know? Is the guy. This Why is I want to test it? Why don't I put it to the test? And this is the guy who told me that sixty five percent of uh -huh. his patients have had the, their second job. And they are still, they are still out in hospital. Bull so crap. there are so many things, yeah, that are Bull happening, crap. but they don't tell us the truth. Bull yeah, crap. Sixty-five percent of us. the people in the hospital are double vaxxed. Bull crap. And this guy has got no reason to lie. Bull crap. Because even he, he has got no reason to say. Bull lie. crap. Sixty-five percent of the people in the hospital are not double vaxxed. Bull crap. Yeah, but you know when you hear that thing, you hear that kind of information from I get somebody it. who's I get it. 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 Yeah, you don't normally come. I don't believe. I, I'm I'm more naive. Yeah, naturally, mm -hmm. I always make my 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 own opinion based mm -hmm. on on some facts. Yeah, but for this <coughs> one, for this one, bro, I can't let you go. I started. You know, the reason I started even doubting, eh, the way. The so here we go. Like you said, you've been in the hospital for malaria. Mm -hmm. Would you take a malaria? And did you ever take a malaria vaccination vaccine? Huh? Did you ever take the ver malaria vaccine? I would not. You would yeah, not. Yeah, I would not. So you would, oh, even though there's a malaria vaccine that's been around for for a long time, mm. even though you be going into the deep bush Congo all the mm, time, you be mm. you African African, mm -hmm. you still won't take a like I won't go to Africa without taking a malaria vaccination. Mm. That don't make no sense. Why would I risk it? Why yeah. would I risk going to Africa and not I, take I think, a, a malaria vaccine? I think it depends on. What's to be scared of the malaria vaccine? though? that's what I can't understand, bro. Because me naturally, I don't fear death. When it comes, it comes. I ain't fearing death yes. either. If it, if it, but I still want to like lose my hair, go gray, get all wrinkled. You need Viagra. I want to. I want to experience them damn things. <laughs> I want to have to take the little blue pill. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't need the blue pill now though. I know what. But I want to take them things. Why not? I want to experience. I want to experience what it's like to be on the other side of like eighty. Why not? Bro. I'm not afraid to die, yeah. but I don't want to like die tomorrow. Uh, normally, normally, I always believe in this thing. You died, you died a death which was supposed to be yours. I guess. And so. when it comes, it comes. Even if you run away from where, it, it this ain't final destination. Life ain't final destination. The movie, bro. Mm -hmm. Like it ain't just coming for you. But mm -hmm. I guess, mm -hmm. I guess, that's one way to look at it. Yeah. Death is death, man. Covid, right. so death, death. Accident, death. death. Like, I ain't trying to convince you know. Yeah. I, I ain't trying to convince you to take the vaccine. You do what you want to do. You yeah, know. Yeah, you do what you want to do. I just, I just trying to understand. What I just try to understand is people's rationale. Mm -hmm. I can't. I just can't get to it. Because I for think. Me, I, I think. Can't. I think people. People. Are it's like these flat earthers. Like I just can't get. I can listen to them, mm -hmm. but I just can't get it. I can't bring my brain to mm -hmm. think. And that another way. thing which really made me uh, back off, yeah, mm -hmm. the fact that there were, there, were, there, were, there, were, there was a kind of pressure, psychological pressure for people. The oh no, they definitely were pressuring people to take it. They definitely were for they forcing you to take it, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So when that guy I said, how oh, one? Did, uh. did are these guys really caring about my health? Or there's something they they say they're caring for about about their own on mm. on uh, agendas. Yeah. Really? So mm. Yes man, so when are we going to Congo now? Congo, ooh, do 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 so, I want to go to China, man, but... Yeah, I want to go back to China, too, yeah, man. Yeah, cool. I do want to go back. I do want to go back to China. Yeah, but, you know, and I don't... I, 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 I don't know now, right? Because Chinese, they are so strict when it comes to vaccine. So, I might not go back there. You can't go nowhere. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. That's how they force you. Like, they yeah. just... They make it you... If you, can't, if you ain't got the vaccine, you ain't coming. But my whole thing was, like, security... Like, I hate security theater. Mm. So like from the out go, like I didn't mind. I don't care about the vaccine. It didn't bother me to get it. Never doubted getting it. Mm. But one thing I hated was all the testing, the mm. testing to fly, the testing to come mm. in. Because I kept saying, "All right, if this was working, why are we getting variants? Mm. How are we getting it? If everybody, has, I kept saying, if everybody has to get the, a test to come into the country, mm. then why the hell is like I was like, why is the Delta variant here? Yeah. Why is it here?" How's the yeah. Omicron variant here? If yeah. everybody had to be tested to come mm -hmm. into the country, yeah. how'd it get here? Yeah. So clearly testing don't work. And so to me, that defined security theater. Mm -hmm. Like I hate security theater. You see it all the time. Mm -hmm. Go to the airport, 
gotta put gotta put your lipstick and your lip stuff in this yeah. little plastic bag. Yeah. And if it don't fit in that, you can't go on the plane with it. As if that plastic bag <laughs> is stopping the plane from coming down. That's security I'm theory to me. Man. And so it was like, well, the testing, I get, I can understand some testing, mm. but I couldn't understand the mandating the testing because it didn't stop anything. Mm. It just gave you data points. Mm. It was like, we're like, we're the data points for you doing mass testing. Mm. But if it's the, you know, they were explained like, you can't come in mm. if you have a positive test. But mm. I was just like, well, how is it getting in here? So I didn't mind taking a test, mm. but I thought people should be able to come if they're positive. And Cause I was like, it ain't stopping you coming in. But no, no, for me, no, I, just I, me. I thought, no, just me. For me, I thought maybe test, testing is for is is is, is, is more is better than than uh, the vaccine because at, at, at the end of the day, yeah, that's what I, I, I think. They should they should encourage people to take to take more tests than getting the vaccine mm. because at, at the end of the day, yeah, it's not okay. There are people who, who are who are who are vulnerable to this 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 COVID, mm. and those who are not. Mm -hmm. So if let's say I've got no COVID. Mm -hmm. Why should I? Why? Why should I take the vaccine? That's my, my own my own perception. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, but at least I can ease. I can take a, a test. Yeah. Instead of vaccine. My, but you know, like okay, like for me, when it came when the vaccines rolled out, I was like, all right, I ain't gonna be first. Mm -hmm. But what I am gonna do, I'm gonna watch and see what's going on. I'm gonna self isolate. Like I literally locked down, didn't go nowhere, mm -hmm. and I just kind of just watched to see what was going on. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, well. Two, three months later, yeah, I ain't seen I ain't seen anything crazy happening, so of course I'm gonna go get it. And it also, but I wasn't gonna be first. Like I'm not the type that's gonna like, oh, we got new boner medicine. Mm -hmm. We're looking for a thousand guinea pigs. Let's go take it. Like I'm not that type of person who's about to mm -hmm. go take the the, the 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 guinea pig treatment. Mm -hmm. I'll wait until they've done they they trials, whether it be a hundred people, a thousand people, ten thousand people. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, you know, and, and then also, what the hell's going on? I, I, I'm not. I've been doubting that. But that's 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 something which is crossing my mind now. Mm -hmm. What if this vaccine is going to affect someone's uh, natural immune system in long term? What is gonna happen? That's my. That's my, that, Those are the questions I'm, uh, I'm see, asking myself. But the long term. What long term effects are you waiting to see after like a billion people have taken this vaccine? I mean, there were people going around saying they were magnetic. I mean, come on now. What a joke. Mm. What a joke. And, 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 and another thing, yeah. There's one thing I'm scared in life, yeah. Injection. Oh, I hate injections, bro. Oh. No, and when oh. I saw TV, I got there, I got put this thing in someone's I'm the and type. I'm the guy like this, this crying and moving, like don't shoot, don't, no, no. I'm like that. I it take. I gotta work up the courage just to get that little needle uh, stuck in me. I can't I stand needles, it. Man. Oh, I can't stand needles. Oh man, I like forget it. Yeah. But what else is going on? So, all the restrictions are done. What's what's now? What you gonna do to get back to normal? That's the thing. That's the question. I don't know. You know? Yeah. And you know, it's it's it's. I'm 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 not, I, I, I've got some question within me mm -hmm. about all these thing, restriction and whatever. So when politicians decide only one day to 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 scrap down scrap off all the restrictions mm -hmm. does it mean that covid has stopped no you know so for me i think maybe these guys they're playing some somehow down <coughs> i don't trust politicians yeah, especially when something can be can be really it can be can be correct and mm -hmm. genuine but as soon as those guys steps in yeah those politicians yeah, it's yeah, really tricky you know you never you know you never can uh, when, it, when it comes to a politician you can never underestimate their ambition exactly. you, that's the problem mm -hmm. I, you know for the average joe we can, i can't understand why everybody wants all this power like mm -hmm. why do you want to go in politics mm -hmm. i can't grasp it but mm -hmm. you get these people who become you know ministers and mm -hmm. senators in america mm -hmm. and governors you can't you can't discount their ambition why mm -hmm. they would do yeah. and look a certain way because they have ambition. They want to yeah. become, everybody wants to become the president for some reason. I don't mm. know why. Or some, everybody wants to be, go from being a local councilman mm. to a minister, to then being the prime minister mm. or sitting on some type, you know, they all have ambition. Yeah. So I get why a politician mm. can, um, you gotta be like, oh, what are they saying? Yeah. 
And those are the same guys who, who make who, who create more. And more if it's Boris time. Johnson saying something, man, you gotta you gotta just be like, yep, do the opposite. Exactly. If Boris Johnson come out and tell you the sky is blue, <laughs> you gotta go out and confirm it yourself. Okay. Yes, man. If he go out and say, uh, every tomorrow, uh, we're gonna send everybody uh, a package in the mail. You better like get your sniffer dog out. <laughs> <clears throat> for that package coming your house. Yeah, you can't yeah. trust the word that dude say. And that is that is that is one thing. Can't trust the word that guy say. Yeah. <clears throat> that guy's the type of guy that'll lie. You ever met like I don't know, like I've had guys at high school, like when I was growing up. You ever met those people like they lie to lie? Like they would tell you a story that's so fantastical, you'd be like, bro. I'm your boy. Why are you lying to me? Like I, I, I know you didn't do or have what you say you got. Like why are you lying? Like you don't got to lie to kick it. That's Boris Johnson. Like he lied to lie, and you'd be like, why are you lying? And he's not the only one, man. All these <clears throat> politicians, unfortunately. Some try. I, I mean, there's some worse than others, but this guy yeah. takes like the cake. Yeah. You know, some people like lie to lie. You'd be like, why are you lying, bro? Like mm. you ain't got to lie. Like we gonna hang out. We gonna be friends. Mm. So you ain't got to lie. You ain't got to tell me. X Y Z, like, mm. like we we cool, like you funny, you can hang out, we gonna chill. Yeah. But then why you gotta exaggerate everything to the nth yeah. degree? Yeah. That dude yeah. is like the biggest liar. And I think uh, they, uh, they Trump, they, they, they are the one who really mistake people about the about the COVID and create 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 yeah. more doubt. Yeah. Because it's the strategy. Sometimes it's not just the message; it's the messenger. Exactly. Whew. Exactly. And it was un it's just unfortunate. Even the what is going on in France today, when the, the politicians now they are introducing those mandatory uh, whatever. So yeah. it's it's more like radical. It's yeah. really, people become more <laughs> radical. Oh man. No, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> no. uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Who's that? Yeah, this guy is, is, is in the cleaner, so ah. sometimes, yeah, he just... Oh, you don't need that. to... Oh, you no, don't need, don't need the idea. Yeah. 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 Leave it, Kata, eh? Huh? Leave it, leave it. I'll tell you how it's like. What's it? I'll tell you how it's like. No, it's still alive. You sure? Yeah. How are you doing, Greg? Is that right? Well, you know, yeah, next time, yeah? Huh? Ask, 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 ask first, yeah? No, I'm well, normally I'm just the regular people. No, no, no. Regular people. With us, we don't work like that, yeah. Yes, sir. We're the one who are the one paying, so we are the one who tell you do it, what you are doing. Yeah, no disrespect, you you probably just find someone else in the future. Because yeah. I do regular work, sorry. No problem, yeah. No problem, yeah. Jesus. That was harsh, so it was a window cleaner. Imagine. That's cool. And this guy, he just jumped in and started cleaning without to even asking questions. Uh, yeah. So, what, what, now, how do you make you in Dubai? Yeah, I still gotta go to Dubai. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably go in a week. I just gotta now, I now gotta maneuver my schedule around. Okay. You know what I mean? But I still gotta go. So, okay. I, gotta, I just gotta move my schedule around. Okay. Problem is I never have any time. Yeah, you're a big man. I'm so busy. I never have no time to do nothing. Where are you gonna go? Congo? Yeah, I was supposed to go to the I think I'm gonna go to the States and see my 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 girls. Oh man. Okay. Wait, where are we coming from? Well, I gotta give a 30-day notice, so I still haven't given notice, so it won't be... Okay. <laughs> it definitely won't be next week. Alright. But I'm gonna give notice soon. Hey, you done? That's good, man. Hello, what's going on? Business is good, man. Business. No, no, no. Don't kill me. That's why I had to go down to London. Oh, okay. For the day after that. Uh, well, I went... What's today, Friday? Friday? I went Wednesday night because oh, it was like, oh. it was a hundred, if I went, I had to be there Thursday. Okay. It was, I take the train, it's gonna cost 190 pounds mm. just to go on Thursday to come back Thursday. Mm. 
But it was like, okay, if I go down Wednesday, it's like 30 pounds, and I can stay in a hotel with a pool and spa and stuff. The whole cost was like 150. So if I'm gonna spend 190, why not spend 150, stay in a hotel, go swimming, go relax? You know what I'm yeah. That was all, including the huh? train ticket and the hotel, 150. <clears throat> and I was three stops from where I needed to be. I was like, man, I'll just go down for the night. Why the heck I'm gonna pay 190 just to ride a train? I could have flown probably to Greece for that price. I was also in Beirut, I went to Southampton. Yeah. How's your business in Africa? It's a printing business, huh? Yeah. Printing and then multimedia. So how do you how do you do your for your forex? So because I don't know the currency in Congo, but I'm assuming clearly everybody's paying in whatever the currency is in Congo. No, you don't know. It's funny now. You know but then how do you... Yeah. They're paying dollars. But then... And, and, they're, and they're local. And then how do you get the money... I'm assuming you use the money here. So how do you get it from the Congo to here? No. Normally, what they do, yeah? The money that they get from Congo, I bought the back account there. In Congo, yeah? So they're paying dollars. Okay. And then just transfer the money. Oh, you just transfer it? Okay. Yeah. So uh, you just do it? Yes. And you know, when I want to do bad things, yeah? Mm -hmm. Normally, I don't mind from it. I'm not from China. Ah, yeah. Yeah, so there yeah, it's easier. Okay. Yeah, it's easier. So even, even the shipping, shipping costs from, uh, from China to... to now, this is going to sound ignorant. So I'm, I'm just telling you. Where are you at? Are there any like gorillas and stuff like that in the Congo? Where are you at? Oh, man. What do you mean? Oh, no, natural geographic. America paints like the Congo like it's like the African bush. So I just want to know, like, if I went, am I going to look like what's outside? Or am I going to see like a a gorilla somewhere? No, you know what, huh? Or a wild ant? I don't know. Yeah, no, okay, I understand you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry. Like, that's just what America paint the Congo. Like, it's the gorilla in the mist type stuff. Like, it's the jungle. But the truth is, yeah? You know, we do have cities. Okay. And I think cities, that's it. Cities, you don't, you don't see those kind of, of things. But we do also have natural reserves. But when you go, yeah. like, but like, say, like, like, say, like, I know in a city, in any city in Africa, it could be like, no wild animal, like, right there. But I just mean, like, if we on, like, the outskirt, like, imagine, like, imagine, like, London, yeah. and then you're on the like, outskirt of the M25. Like, we out that way, like, is it just like a quick walk and like I could like see something crazy? Or like I gotta like really go in there? Yes, man, there are places, yeah. There are places where you can easily come uh, come into into those kind of kind of environment. Uh, I remember when I went to our still our still our still Yeah. Uh we we're traveling from one uh, one 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 city to another one. Mm -hmm. So we have we have we have, we have to cross the the forest. Okay. And then, yeah. And I saw, I saw lions. No shit, huh? Yes, even, even, even uh, all those wild animals. No shit, huh? And that, just, that was the, the first time when I saw this, uh, this, uh, this uh, python, a uh, big snake. Oh, yeah. Just crossing the road. No shit. Man, all, everybody in the bus was just shit. Yeah, big old python. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> and uh, you know the problem with that, yeah? After we, 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 we left that place, everybody was, was still, was still, uh, was still, uh, 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 how do you say? In shock? In shock. To the point that if you touch somebody, they go, yeah. Put a snake. Put a snake. Just away, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I remember another place. Uh, there is a place where I went to the golden school. Mm -hmm. And uh, the place had so many snakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the, in, the, in, the, in the wild, in the, in the, in the wow. wild, yeah. And those snakes, man, I, you could easily come uh, and meet them. Mm -hmm. uh, you could just, you could easily, uh, when, when you're walking around, you see you're walking around. Yeah. Crazy. And the day, the day, well, I remember <coughs> I saw this in Black Mamba the first time. Ooh, for Black Mamba. Ooh, wow. I'll be scared. I'm telling you, it was so scary. Ah, so scary. Fucking hate snakes. Yeah.
But I mean, Congo, you know, there is a big jump in the middle. But how, like, how paved are you? Like, how, is it like dirt roads or is it like paved roads? Like, I'm just asking, I don't know. There are places, places where it's dirty roads. It's just dirt. Yeah, and other places. But like where you at in the city, it's like paved like that. But when you go to the villages, Ah, that's don't you Then those the villages is where you can easily come across sometimes even the 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 uh the elephants. Ah yeah. Sometimes they even visit villages and eat eat really? crops. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah. They just go into you got the elephant. elephant. You got elephants that are like a pest eating your farm. No, yeah. that's it. Yeah. But if we went to a village in Congo, yeah. am I going to a hut or am I going to like a house? Like, what do you mean a village? Like, what do you mean village? Describe that. Villages, villages in Africa. Yeah. 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 Okay. So there's still houses. No, no, this kind of right, right, not like this. Just, I get it. Just but with, uh, with, uh, with uh, bricks. Brick house. Okay. Yeah, brick house. Okay. But the poorest, huh? those poorest are still living in a in a hut. Okay. Yeah. 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 I ain't never been. I mean, I know so. It sounds ridiculous. I'll take one day. One day I'll take to me, yeah. it sounds it sound ignorant to ask, but I'm asking because I don't know. Yes. Like, I'm just curious, Curiosity. like, what, what what it would be like. What would I see if I went? You know what, yeah? When you go down there, trust me, you'll be very happy because you'll be, you'll be into the nature. You, a, a world. I need me a woman that can carry a bottle of water, a bucket of water on her head a mile. You don't. I need me one of them. You, that's the, the she can't thing. carry a bucket of water on her head for yeah. a mile or two. A jerry can. I, I, can't, long jerry yeah, can. I need one of those. Yeah. She can't do that, I don't need her. Uh, <laughs> you know, that, that's the beauty of, 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 of that area, man. Yeah. People are still, are still really natural. Even the food is, is natural. You don't even use any chemical to grow their, 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 their food. Their food yeah. 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 And, 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 and even, even the food, food there are, are really sweet. <coughs> Well, let me tell you how brainwashed. Mm. This is how br this just speaks to like the brainwashedness mm. of like how I was as an American growing up. Mm. I remember like coming of age, mm. you know, I'm like 20, 22, and in my mind I was like I would never sleep with an African person because I worry have they all have AIDS. Like that's just how brainwashed. Yeah. I was like, it, like that was like the thing. I was like, ain't no way I'm gonna sleep with an African woman from Africa because they all got H. It was just ridiculous. Like it's, it just shows like how the media can get into your head and paint a picture that is just so far from the real, right? And it's just like how I can ask a question about like are everybody in huts in Congo, like. Like I know, like as I am now, I know that's not the case, but I still ask the question because I've been like conditioned to see that. Like in America, like whenever you see Africa for some reason in America, like it's always a kid with like five flies on their eyeballs. And it's just like that is it. like and I've been to Africa, you know what I mean? I've been down to the south, I've been to Mozambique, I've been to South Africa. So I know it's not like that. Exactly. But the condition in your head, you know, even that down, thing is ridiculous. It spends me when I, I watch this, uh, this uh, charity organization yeah, trying to to, to 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 beg for money. Mm -hmm. So what, what they do, they look, they, they target those very poor areas in Africa, and then that's what they portray. And that's what they portray about Africa, yeah. about the area. You know, yeah. unfortunately, unfortunately, many people uh -huh. take that as an example, as a yeah. reality. Hmm? You know, the, you know, you know, even my my kid at school. Yeah. That's what that's the image their colleagues had. I think when I took them to Africa and I showed them, they saw the reality. And you know what? When they came back, they said, Daddy, we are proud of being Africans. We are very proud because at least they could see. I, I, I have to be honest, honest, honest. Yeah. They are, they are the people who are living in extreme poverty. I bet. That is I even, bet. Here. even here. Even here. It's, it's different type of poverty. All these guys who are, who are, who are Oh, yeah. Right outside. Right outside. Yeah, yeah, there's outside. quite a few uh, yes. drug addicts exactly. right outside. Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. You go there, they also meet people who are, who are really living in mansions, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. swimming pool, everything, mm -hmm. everything. 
you know. But no, unfortunately, the media will never show the positive of Africa, the, the, the nice place of Africa. It's right. the same as Congo, you know. Congo, of course, there is war there. Yeah. People are fighting. That's what I, think, I feel like there's another war out there. That's that's I feel, I feel like another war. war. And that is my area where I come from. Mm -hmm. But when I hear the media talking about my area, saying that, they say, telling people that it's a no man land. Mm -hmm. I said, these, these, these guys, they are, they are really, really, really doing a bad job. Mm -hmm. they, 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 are, they are lying to people. Come on, people, there is war there. Of course. But people are living. Mm -hmm. still, the voice in those uh, areas, maybe in the remote areas. Maybe like, okay. Yeah, in the, in the bush, gorillas are fighting. Bush. Yeah. So, I'm sure the, the media today will tell you that Congo is a, it's a capital mm -hmm. of, of atrocities. Yes, capital. But that's what the, that's what I have in my mind. Like, yeah. if I go to the Congo, I oh, might not come out alive. You know, man. I always there. You, you, I'm, I'm, <laughs> people, and, 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 yeah, plenty of of people. Let's see, let's see, let's see what these comments are saying. Let's get to the comments. The color of Congo flag in his hair. Oh no! People making fun of my gray patch. This is my baby mama patch. Huh. <laughs> they want to turn my hair green. Yeah. 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 All the bingo ladies watching on my bus. Such a nice American man. You got 80 year old eyeing you up. Hey, hey, 80 year old ladies. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know. You just got to. Yeah. 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 You know, it's the same image that we used to know when we, when we were back home eh? uh -huh. about America. Like all Americans are, are, are Rambo. Mm. Oh, Rambo. Yeah, yeah. Rambo. Yeah. Rambo. Rambo. Uh, yeah, Rambo. Rambo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Rambo. Yeah, right. Rambo, yeah. <laughs> oh, all Americans are athletes. They, they, they do, they, 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 they do uh, 200, 200 meters. They run 200 meters. Meter. Well, uh, we do do a lot of sport in America yeah. because sport in America is a way out of poverty. Mm. You know, it's a way to higher education. Mm. So there's all people do all kinds of sports. You know, when you just grow up, you do two, three sports. It tells me to see how the media always wants to show bad image of America. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And unfortunately, that's why you become the most powerful. You must tell how to see the African man. You know, you don't understand them. Because that, the, the image that you see is really, really, really now Here's a question. I want to pivot the conversation. Because mm -hmm. so you've been here longer than I have. Mm. Is this? Yeah. So I made a video on my YouTube channel. Mm. It's really my most popular video. Yeah. But it's about racism. Mm. Yeah. And the biggest grief, because I don't think the UK is racist. That's my personal view. That's my experience. Mm. The biggest thing I get from people, they say, it's subtle. You, you wouldn't see it. You're American. You won't see it. Mm. And I have been up and down this country and I can't see it. What am I not seeing? You've been here longer than me. I don't know if you think it is racist or not racist. Never, we never had this conversation. But the number one comment, Carl, you can't see it. It's subtle. That's why. Blah, 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 blah. And I go, how subtle can it be? Because the number one thing I can't hide is my skin color. I'm going to walk in any door. As soon as I walk that door, you're going to see a black man. You don't know if I, before I speak, you're not going to know if I'm British or American. And they say, oh, you won't get it, they're subtle. It's because you're American, you have a, a type of um, privilege. I have American privilege. I'm like, how the hell would somebody know I'm American until I speak? So I ain't seen it. Tell me what I'm not seeing, bro. What I'm not seeing? But you know, this is from my own experience. However, however, before you go, before you go, I say this, right? But literally the other day I walked into a bar and I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what? Everybody looked at me like, oh. I was like, oh. Like, yeah, I was like, oops. 
I was the only black dude. And it was like, oh, I, but I was just getting my tires. I was trying to get my tire fixed. And I wasn't just like a local pub in the middle of the day. And all of a sudden, it was like, Really? <laughs> like everybody was looking at me. Oh, no, everybody, you know, it felt weird. It felt weird, right? But I didn't think anybody was racist. It was just like, why are you walking into this pub? Like I was in the middle of nowhere getting my tire fixed. Like, you know what? Yeah, come, that, so it just felt like, oh, okay, yeah. There is racism here. You, I must say, and there's no racist people, of course. Yeah, like, you know the, the difference between the, 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 the British people, English people. Okay, yeah. you tell them. They will not, they will not show it straight away into your face. But no, but no, I remember. But but to be honest, also it's the, the, this country, mm -hmm. at least black people, <clears throat> even if it, they can be those racist uh, people within it, but black people can feel comfortable in this country mm -hmm. compared to all the other European countries. UK is a place where a black man can feel a bit respected because okay. how, 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 how was it? I was I I've been uh, traveling in Holland or France or. Yeah, bro, it's way more racist yeah, over yeah, there in some of these exactly. other European countries. Exactly. And so when you're talking people. about England, UK, exactly. I'm like, no, 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 at, least people, at least people have to be somehow uh, have <laughs> have that kind of gratitude. Yeah, in this country, we everywhere they are racist. No doubt, everywhere, no, nobody, no. everywhere they are racist. And uh, no, it's no, wrong. No. It's, it's sometimes people take it to another level. They uh -huh. just generalize. Yeah, they say, oh, that country is racist. No. Racists are here. No doubt. They're here. But they're everywhere. And they're everywhere. And those guys, the good thing here, they will be there, but they will not show it to you straight away because it's not allowed in the country. It's not it's, it's not, oh, it's not yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But when you go to other countries, you go to Germany, you go to Holland, uh -huh. there you can really feel racism. Especially yeah. when, when you're struggling to speak their, their local language. Oh yeah. Yeah. You oh, really yeah. struggle. Yeah. And uh, you even feel uh -huh. as if you are you are not even a human being there. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. but and uh, comparing when when I try to compare, uh -huh. honestly, this uh, racism in this <coughs> country is there, but not at uh, that. Not at that high yeah, level. Uh, uh, high level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's you know, fair. I think that's fair to say. No, I think that's fair to say. Yeah, another thing, you know. I'm a black, and I came here. Okay, my, my English, you African, exactly African, African and my I'm English, black. And, you and African, 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 exactly, and and also my 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 English mm -hmm. has got some some French influence. That's right, because you speak but, a million languages. Exactly, yeah. Now you know the problem. <clears throat> I have to, to to be honest, yeah, by saying that black people in UK can feel somehow proud because you are you you are, you are looked at as a human being. Even I if you, even if in, in your career you can come across yeah. people who are who are natural, naturally very racist, yeah. but if you are brave, you are you are you are, you are, you are, you are clever, intelligent, and hardworking, you can still make your way. But man, I've been, I I can't tell you how many comments I had mm. in this video. It's subtle. It's so subtle. It's subtle, subtle. I was like, man, they said I have privilege. I said, what in the hell are you talking about? Mm. I can't mask being black. I can't. Mm mask it. There's no way I can walk into a room and mask that I'm not black. Mm. Like, it's impossible. I so, you know, I don't see and I'm just like, I just believe if you're looking for racism, mm. you will find racism exactly. in everything. That's true. Don't get me wrong. The other day when I walked into this bar, I felt I could feel that all the eyes were on me. Mm. But that didn't mean that those people were being racist. I was literally like mm. a local pub where it was just literally local people in there. Uh. And then here I come, poof, walking in. You know, maybe I was a little boisterous when I came in, but they just looked back. And I was like, oh, yeah. yeah I remember <clears throat> but I was looking for food, so that's the reason I didn't stay. I was yeah. hungry. So I, I was like, oh, you don't got no food, so I was like, I'm leaving. Yeah. But I would have stayed. If they mm. said they served food, I was going to stay and eat. Mm. Right. <clears throat> you, know, you know, there is a time when I, went, when I was in China, man. They refused to give me a room in a hotel because I was black. You're lying. I'm telling you. You're bro. lying. And, and, and I was lucky because I was with, with, with the guys, I, 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 the people I was wow. with, they all were, were Chinese. Wow. Now, <clears throat> when we entered in this hotel, hotel, I heard them speaking Chinese. Mm. And then later on, this this lady turns, uh, the one I was, I, I was with, with, yeah, the door, because it was a couple, yeah. Uh -huh. They turned to me and said, no, Ziggy, we cannot, uh, they, 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 they cannot give us a, a room here. And I asked why. Okay, they try to cover up my news straight away that mm. because I'm black. Mm. You and this, this, this I, 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 another friend of mine, same thing in Beijing. 
Mm-hmm. You went through the same, the really? same guy. So see, you see, that is I didn't, typical. I mean, maybe because I stay, I would stay, you know, I stay in pretty fancier, you know, I stay at the Marriott, JW Marriott, mm-hmm. the Hyatt. So I've never experienced nothing like that. But I imagine if I went to China and stayed mm-hmm. in a lower, you know, kind of, I guess a budget hotel. It, 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 I, can no, imagine, no, I, just, I can see it, maybe. It, it, bro, but it, I can't it, imagine it, it, that like at the JW or the Hyatt. That being the case, it was a low tail. It was, 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 Mm. Yeah, the Guangzhou is known no, no, to no, have no, like. No, it was not Guangzhou. It was in don't don't want. I've never been, been, but yeah. I'm gonna say if you're over in that area, that's where all the shops and yeah. not the shops, the Guangzhou factories are at. So why would they would expect to see foreigners? Guangzhou is better, but that that place. Imagine, man, I I was traveling from 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 uh, from Guangzhou to that place in the mm-hmm. train. The train does does ice ice speed train. Oh, those trains are amazing. I was the only <laughs> one black. In the whole train. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And they were oh, all yeah. look at, looking oh, yeah. at me, yeah, staring oh, yeah. at me, as if I'm an alien, you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had that feeling. Too. It was so bad, especially when I was in Beijing, because apparently I went and it was some like national holiday, so mm. people came from like afar into mm. the city. It, it was getting so bad, mm. like I couldn't walk anywhere in China without mm. being stopped mm. every five yeah, seconds. Man. So it got to a point where it was like, well, I want to go see the Forbidden City. Mm. I was like, I'm not about to go through what I went through the last two days because mm. I can't walk anywhere. Mm. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go an hour before the thing closes. Mm. So I literally was timing where I was going in Beijing so I could go see the sights mm. without being like, literally it was like, it'd be like a crowd. Like I would, like if I was sat right here, if we was like in Beijing mm. and we was in this shop, mm. it'd be like, Six people staring at the window right mm. there. And there'd be like another two at that window. Mm. And then maybe a couple have enough balls to come in mm. and just stare there and watch me. Like, that's how it was, bro. Like, it was literally like that. It was literally like that. Wherever I walked in China, wherever I was walking, mm. it'd be like a, a, a circle of 20 people circling. <laughs> I walked through the Forbidden City. Even though I went, like, towards the end of the day and there was mm. less people, mm. Bro, it was like five, ten people constantly taking my picture. Anything I did, you hear people laughing and talking. I was like, they don't oh. even yeah, they don't even understand what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, it was a true, true story. But dresses, man, dresses is everything for you. You know, but 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 here there's no man, there's no dress. Dresses is there, it's there, right? It's everywhere, right? But it's not, it's not a society as a society. No, 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 as a society. Yeah. And you know, I'm so tired. As you said before, people always take one example, one situation to generate, make it a a general. To, uh, make to, to make it look as if it's everything, uh, 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 everything. Maybe somebody in his life has come across somebody who's treating different. Mm-hmm. It's easy for this person to be able to think that everybody in that black place is there. Uh, I tell you, one time I was, I've been to Israel a few times. Mm. <clears throat> the first time, like Israel is the only place I've gone where I felt like I was being judged for being black. Mm. Not the people but the system, the yeah. getting into the country part. Yeah. Not the people, mm. being out in the people, people was fine. Mm. It was the system. Yeah. So the first time I go to Israel, mm. I fly in, I land, I just go by myself. Like mm. I travel a lot of places just by myself. Mm. So I was just like, I'm gonna go to Israel. Why? I was like, I just wanna go, why not? I was like, why not go to Israel? I got a couple of days off, I'm gonna fly to Israel. So I just mm. flew to Israel by myself. Mm. Booked at the Marriott in Tel Aviv. That's where I was staying. I stayed at the Mar- Marriott to Tel Aviv. Mm. Just by myself. Mm. Bro, I arrive at the airport. I'm walking in. Just me. Mm. Walking down. Mm. And you know you got to go to immigration. Yeah. <clears throat> I get to the immigration line. There's like a couple in front of me. A single person in front of me. Mm. And maybe another couple. And then somebody in front. Mm. And we just in this line. Mm. And I walk up. 
<clears throat> got mm. my got my Louis bag, got my Louis backpack. I'm just chilling. It's just me. Mm. Phone rings. You can see the immigration person dealing with somebody. Mm. The phone rings. You hear? I can hear the phone ring. I'm that close. I can hear the phone ring. Mm. The lady pick up the phone and does like this, bro. Like you know, she's looking at somebody on the phone. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it comes back into the thing, right? <clears throat> Deals with everybody. Deals with everybody. Stamp them, stamp them, stamp them. Mm. Come to me, because mm. she, when she ducked out, when she went like this, mm. and then got back in, she looked at me. Mm. What the fuck she looking at me for? Mm. I get to the front, grilling me, bro. Really? Grilling me. Why are you here? What are you here to see? Wow. Bro, and people might, you might, people watching might think, oh, that's just normal, mm. bro. Mm. Is it normal that I just give my passport? They're like, mm. "What site you seeing? Where are you staying at? Who are you here to see? Why mm. are you here by yourself?" Mm. And like aggressive. Yeah. I'm like, "Huh? Like, I can't come to the country? Like, what's the problem? Like, I just what site you gonna see?" I said, "The sites, like you know, whatever sites there are to see. I don't know because I you realize like I travel like this. Mm. Like, I can just like, okay, let's go. I'm just gonna go. Like mm. tomorrow, I might say, let's go to J Jordan. I might mm. just book a flight to go to Jordan tomorrow." Exactly. And I just went like that. And that's how it was. That's how I went to Israel. I was like, oh, I'm going to go to Israel. Mm. I think it was like a Tuesday. And I was mm. like, I'm going to go on, I'm gonna go on Thursday. So mm. I flew on Thursday, mm. something like that. Mm. <clears throat> They're like, what site you going to see? I was like, I don't know. The wall thing. And, you know, because I didn't know, I didn't know yeah. the names or nothing. Exactly. <clears throat> I was just like, yeah, I'm going to go see the wall and uh, maybe go to the beach. Like, that's exactly. it. Like, yeah. I had no plan. Like, I got no plan. Yeah. I said, I was going to arrive and figure it out. Like, yeah. I was just gonna go to Israel, go to Jerusalem, and just figure it out. Yeah. It gave me all this grief, bro. And then what they did was, you might think, oh, okay, they grilled you for five minutes, mm. what's the deal, then they let you go. Mm. No, send me to the back room. Really? I was in the back room for like an hour. I'm texting my dad, like, dad, what the hell? Like, they, they like, I might not even be able to come in. I ain't done nothing. Like, I ain't done nothing. All I did was get off the plane and walk to immigration uh. like everybody else, bro. Uh. And you know they picked me out on the camera because the phone ring and the girl go, whoop, ducks in, like clearly like, do you see the black guy that's uh, behind people? Yeah. yeah, I see him. And it comes in like that. <laughs> it treats me like this. Uh, and I'm like, what the hell? Mm. And I spent like an hour, they doing all these other background checks on me. They called the embassy on me. They called the US embassy on me. Really? I'm like, what the hell? I'm sitting there uh, thinking, <clears throat> you know, mm. like two wow. hours pass. Wow. Wow. And they finally let me out into the country. Can you imagine? And I go do what I'm supposed to do, like mm. do all the stuff I was going to mm. do. And then I left. Oh, man. And then the second time I go to Israel, I'm in mm. Jordan. Mm. It's a, this is like two years ago, three mm. years ago. Mm. I'm in Jordan. And I had no plans to go to Israel. I was just going to go to Jordan. Mm. And I was at the Dead Sea. And then I made my way all the way to the south of the mm. Dead Sea. Mm. And then I was when I got down there, I was like, oh, shoot, you can see Israel. Israel's right, like mm -hmm. right there. You mm -hmm. can see it. Yeah. I was like, it's right there. I was like, hey, I'm going to go into Israel. Why yeah. not? I'm just going to just go have lunch over in Israel. Exactly. Why not? It's right there. Mm. And so I cross. Mm. <clears throat> this is the first time I crossed like a land border. Mm. It felt so weird, bro. Really? Uh, it felt like a war zone. It was like, I felt <laughs> like I was walking through no man's land. I crossed like, like there's a, go like I'm on the Jordanian side. Mm. They're like, okay, we can only go, you know. They, first, they conned me, they scammed me, they made me pay for a bus ride mm -hmm. to go from here to like 100 meters. Really? Yes. And then I paid them just to take a bus from here to 100 meters. And then they were like, you got to walk and cross over this no man's gap. Mm. Then you got to cross the border into Israel and go through that, right? Wow, wow. I do all of that. You got mm. guns pointing everywhere. I'm thinking, really? and it's just me. There's nobody else. Really? There's nobody else crossing. Nobody. There's nobody else crossing. Wow. And I get there, and the lady's grilling me. Why are you coming over here? What is your purpose over here? Where's all your stuff? I said, oh, my stuff is at the hotel in Jordan. Yeah. Like, it's just right, it's just over there. Yeah. I'm staying, like, a couple nights in Jordan. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, why are you coming over here? Oh, I was like, I just, I just like, well, I, could see, I was here. Yeah. I could see Israel. Yeah. I was like, I'm just going to come for lunch. Why not? Because it's just right here. <laughs> you know, why not? I'm here. When's the next yeah. time I can say I've been to Israel? Because, yeah. you know, so I was like, it's here. I'm just going to go spend, I'm going to do lunch exactly. in Israel. Yeah. Because it's right there. Yeah. It was like a 10-minute taxi ride to the border. Because yeah. it's like right there. You exactly. can see it. Yeah. They giving me all this grief, bro. <laughs> Keeps me there for like 45 minutes. Really? Doesn't believe that I'm coming there. Calls security, calls her boy. And I start doing all these extra, extra checks. I'm thinking, right. what in the world? Like, just to come for lunch. She was like, 
And she was like, not believing me. And so then I go. Mm. I go have lunch. Mm. I go do an escape room. Mm -hmm. I have some ice cream. I'm chilling at the beach. Mm. I swim in the water for a little bit. Mm. And then I come back. Mm. And I tell the lady, like I said, mm. I came for lunch and I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I come back and it's yeah. the same lady with yeah. the visa thing. Right, and I was like, you gave me all this grief, right, and I told you exactly what I was coming to do. I was coming to have lunch. Yeah. The only reason I came, because it was right there. Right, you know, like it was just there. It's not like I have a passport that says I can't come. You let right, people yeah. in. I said, I'm going to be here. They're like, how long are you going to be? I was like, maybe a couple hours, you know, four or five hours, and that was oh, it. This year, you have to call it the, the security or... Bro, she was called. She, yes, yes. Wow, wow, she wow. sent me to a secondary inspection. They called, they called more security. Really? Oh, bro, that's the only ever time where I felt like, what in the hell is going on? Imagine, man. The two times, you know, I've been to Israel, I think, three times. Mm. But two times, it was like that. I couldn't believe it. Imagine, I couldn't believe it. And I was just like, do you? But it was just like, especially the first time. Mm. There was nothing but white people, mm. maybe white Israelis and white people. Mm. They got nothing. It was like, literally, you could so see them, got the passport, really? stamped next. Got their passports, stamp next. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Just, just you're but the first time when I went, it was like two hours to get into the country. I was like, what the world's going on? Where are you going to? I was like, bro. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm staying at the. I was like, I'm staying at the Marriott in, in Tel Aviv. Uh, <clears throat> what site? I was like, I was like, I don't know any sites. Like, I don't know. I just came because mm -hmm. I could come. Like, I had five. You know, I had like a four day weekend. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to come. Why, why, why can't I come? But I, you know what, what is it? Where like I travel to Europe and France and places like that. Mm. It's just like a, you know, check your passport. This is who you are. Yeah. Stamp, go. Yeah. You know, I'm traveling on American passport. Mm. Why well, I got to have these two hour, hour delays at the border? But you know, Only you in know Israel. What's Only what's in Israel. It's not fair. Like the, the, the Jewish people, they go around the world. Nobody just stop them. As if they have got a green light to go wherever they are going. That was the only ever time where I felt singled out for being black. Mm. That was the only time. I can only time I really think was any time I went to Israel. Mm. Only time. Went to Jordan, no problems. Bro, no problems. Mm. No problems. Mm. No problems. Yeah, man. My other <coughs> place where I, went, where I was not happy when I went down there. I was not happy the immigration was in bank. Uh, Dubai, no problem. I never had any problems with Dubai. They, they, never. They kept, they kept me there for 30 minutes. I don't know what they were checking. No. But anyway, it, it was the first time when I went there. And they said, they asked me. <coughs> the key when you go to Dubai is this. Mm. Like, especially if you go into, um, especially if you go into the, term, the Terminal 1, the, the Emirates Terminal. Yeah. Is when you go in there, and you come down, I don't know if you've been, but if you go down to the mm. Emirates Terminal, you're like, you, when you come down the escalator, mm. there'll be all these immigration pleas. Yeah. If you go all the way to the left, mm. all the way to the left, mm. what you do is you can register your passport. Mm. And so the next time you come, mm. you just go through the automation thing. Oh, Scan, right. go. You don't even have to talk yeah, to anybody. Yeah. So every time I've gone, I ever go to the far left, mm. scan my passport, and, it, and it's valid for like a year or two, something like that. Mm. So then the next time you go, mm. you just go... Instead of going through the line and you snake through and yeah, you have yeah. to go see somebody, uh, you just go to the left again and you just go to the automated one. Uh, Boom, right. done. It was, it was the first time for me. So <coughs> never had any problems time, going yeah. through Dubai. Never. But they didn't. They didn't. They didn't give me headache. They just kept me there. Bro. I, I think the registration took too long. Israel's the only place that's ever singled me out. Really? Israel twice too. I was like, this is Nine ridiculous. Days. I was like, man, where's all, like the, specs, the second time, I was like, where's all your stuff, and da 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 da, I was like, this is fucking, this is the hotel, where are these things at? <laughs> I was staying at the Kaplinsky Hotel, fucking five star, expensive hotel, nice hotel in Georgia, man, expensive hotel, I was like, it's all there, mm. I just came here to have lunch, I was just mm. like, I had nothing to do, nothing planned that day, mm, yeah. and so I woke up, and mm. I was like, hey, no shit, you can see Israel right there. Mm, go to Israel. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't go to the war. Yeah. Well, I was in the south of Israel this time. Ah, okay. I was like, well, I've been to, to the Israel. north. I've been to Jerusalem and all that. So I was like, yeah, I've never been to the south of Israel. Right. Let's go, roll. Go, go to and see that, uh, the, the war. I did see the war. That was interesting to see. It was highly segregated really? in terms of men and women. 
Oh yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Culture, man. Uh, I like those guys' culture, man. <clears throat> and then I put a couple, couple people asked me to put some prayer notes in the wall for them. Did you? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah they asked. <laughs> Come on, God. So you, don't, like, you don't believe in God. I, don't say I don't believe in God. I, let's not let's not go that far and say I don't believe in God. But <clears throat> the question I, thought, I, thought, I don't I don't I, I, I say you, I thought you are atheist. Atheist? Am I atheist? Are you? Are you? I'm more. Or maybe you have changed now. You have, you're now you have, you have. I just understanding that there is a high being there. <clears throat> I, man, when it, that's a very complex conversation. Mm. God, I don't believe in it in the way that it's presented. Mm. Because the facts and the evidence aren't you there man, you? strong yeah, enough for right. me. Yeah. But for other people, it is. Yeah, but you believe that. I, mean, go to any, any I say there's a possibility. Uh -huh. That they, they might be a, a yeah. high being. Yeah, there's a possibility. Because I remember last time, <laughs> last time we had this conversation, you were categorically. You, you said they just deny yes. what you're saying, yeah. I, I, yeah, there was, a time where, there was a time where I was categorically denying. Yeah. I would say I've it's more nuanced than that. Mm. It's more of, it could be, mm. but as it's described, mm. I can't rationalize that it is that yeah. way. Yeah. Too many planets, too many stars, too mm. too much, just too big to mm. say it's that impossible. it happened the way that it said it happened. Too yeah. many discrepancies in books. And, so yeah. it's just too hard for me. No, to I no, you don't know, you don't know. <clears throat> there, there is right now, I, I agree with you, because that day, you know, now they, 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 your concept, your concept, they, they, you had a different view because we are we, talking about even evolution. Evolution. Now, yeah. now that you, at least you can see how things, how the nature, how the the universe is, is not a hazard. There is there, there is an engineer behind that thing. May, no, 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 no. When you when you make when you make cause, uh. you assume, you make an assumption that there is a prime mover. But when you do that, when you say there's a prime mover, I don't care if you say they're of the universe or work outside of said universe. I've had both arguments. Mm. When you say such a statement, you have to then say, who made the move? Who made the engineer? Because you, if that person, because you gotta realize, if the <laughs> entity that you say is the prime mover, the prime engineer, mm. exists inside or outside. Mm. You are now saying that it can pop into existence in and of itself. Mm. So then I can sit there and apply to this same universe mm. a logical reason using your own logic to say mm. the whole universe mm. can pop into existence in and of itself. You know, because whether this being mm. is of the universe mm. or it works outside of the universe, mm. you're applying a prime mover, an engineer, an agent, a cause... And you have to ask the logical question, mm. where did it come from? And if you can't say where it came from, you are then implying that it popped into existence. Mm. So why can't I say that the universe popped into existence? Because the Big Bang, mm. as described, happened. Has it happened multiple times? No one can tell. Mm. But it happened. So it can happen in and of itself from a logical point. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying, so I don't say that there can't be a prime mover. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying there is no God. Mm -hmm. I'm saying if I use your own words, your own logic, mm -hmm. I then have the logical question to ask, where did this engineer or this prime yeah, mover agent come from yeah. to be? But you know, you know what, for me, yeah, now that's my own, yeah. as you just said, each one has got his own. I came to understand to believe that there is engineer, and there are sometimes that there are questions. In fact, I, I ask myself a question, I don't have an answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I stop there yeah. because I don't want to go into speculation. But what 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 I know, see, I like about, to you get... know, for me, when I sit down and analyze my, my the human being uh -huh. the, uh, himself, yeah, uh -huh. starting for myself, the way I, everything happened physically. Emotionally, mm -hmm. uh, whatever, mm -hmm. yeah, my anatomy, how everything is synchronized, how everything is, is in harmony. If you touch see, me like this, I feel sure. that. If you pinch me, I feel it. Pinch. Not true. See, see. So, see. Hold on, hold on. So that that kind of reflection and meditation, 
makes me believe that I'm not a hazard. I'm not a, 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 a result of a big bang. But you are because, the result of a big when, bang. When, when, hold on. This is me. But you I are. You are made of you know, stardust. When, when, when I see we are all made of stardust. When I see, for example, a car yeah. or a computer. Yes. A computer, they, because the computer, they, they, they try to engineer right. a computer. The computer for, for can't self-make itself. The yes. car can't self-make itself. But there is an engineer behind all that thing. But then you have to ask. So, now, for me, ask. and that, nobody will convince me of that point. That's uh -huh. my own, my, my, my belief, yeah? Right. My strength, I'm, uh, like yours. I'm not so. Which means I, hundred percent, even even one 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 thousand percent sure that there is <coughs> an engineer who made me the way I am because I'm I'm unique. My DNA are unique. Your the DNA theory, is not theory, unique. I'm I'm different from you. Yes, you, you are. Yes, your DNA is slightly yes, different yeah, from everybody yeah, else. Yeah, Everybody's DNA is slightly I, different. No exactly, doubt. But I'm not. I'm I'm, I'm a, a <coughs> copy of myself. There are people who have the same exact DNA. Yeah, They're called biological okay. twins. They have exact same Although DNA. Okay. If you, if you they have the exact same DNA. But I know that I'm unique Ziggy in the, the, this world. <coughs> yeah, It's different from a stone. Stone can be stone. But I'm huh. me. So huh. those make me believe that I've been an engineer. There is a guy who engineered me. And also when I come outside me now, I see how everything is interconnected. It's not a hazard. It's not really something. Because the Big Bang Theory, it's something, it, 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 it's a spontaneous thing. But when there is some, something you see, it's interconnected. I breathe out the, 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 the uh, I breathe the oxygen, the oxygen comes from this side. But what you're saying, bro, what you, to me, like I gotta say, always for me, uh, what I'm hearing is a disconnect into science thinking and to be able to rationalize what's going on. <clears throat> Interconnected, let's think about it. The Big Bang happened. So you are in, you you cannot escape the fabric of the universe. You are part of it. You are part of the Big Bang. You are made of it. But I don't believe in it. Oh, you don't and, have to and, believe and, in and it. That's what, that's but it happened. Different, yeah. I'm not sitting there saying there's no utility in religion. There could be utility, a goodness I'm not, I'm not, from it. It's not about, Whether you're Muslim, about, Buddhist, I'm atheism, I'm religion. Religion. you're talking I'm about, about the prime about mover, faith. the engineer. About faith. Faith. Yeah, about, yeah, about, yeah, about belief. Religion is something else. Yes. Yeah, it's but something, faith. Yeah, but faith is something that comes from within you. But you're saying there's yeah. a prime mover, a prime agent. And the question I always have is, who made the agent? If the agent can just poof into existence and say, you know what? I have a thought. I'm going to make a universe so vast and, and with a speed of light that is actually fast, but actually extremely slow. And who made the Big Bang Theory? The Big Bang. <clears throat> the Big Bang is the observation. You can see gravity interactions with all, uh, with, with the, gas, molecules. Who made the, the gas, molecule? It who could, doesn't, but as I'm saying, there, I'm not, that's why I say, there can be a prime mover. There can be. I'm not saying there isn't. There could be something outside the Big Bang. Maybe. But the Big Bang happened, and everybody needs to accept that as a fact. Now, who made it? Who caused it? How it did? It's not a fact. <clears throat> oh, it is a fact. It is a, it's a fact. It's a theory. Oh, theory. I hate when people say who, it's just a theory. Who saw the because that show. Listen, no, 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 listen. Oh, even if no. Religion, even if people are watching. Even if religion, let's it's get to the theory. Oh yeah. my goodness. Even okay, it's, listen. You know, it's a theory. So what you know of? So do you accept? You so you you're saying theories and there's laws, right? You accept the laws as fact. You're not accepting the theories as fact. So let me land this thing. Let me land this thing. Let me land this thing. Let me land this thing, bro. Let me land this thing. You got theory and you got law. Uh, it sounds like you accept law. If they say this is the law of um, law of relativity, you accept that. Did, did da, 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 let me get to it. Then you got the theory. You just said, and a lot of people, they'll say it. It's just a theory. They will say that. It shows the fundamental difference between your understanding of what a law is and what a theory is. Yeah. A theory, mm. a law, a law, when they say it's the law of something, right? A law of something is something that is explained mathematically. And who made the law? Time out. Let me get there. Let me get there. It says that they can explain something mathematically. A theory, and when you say it's just a theory, it's like you're saying it's just a hypothesis. A theory is not explained mathematically, it's explained observationally. 
So you cannot write a math equation for these theories, but you can explain it through scientific observation and explanation, and so you arrive at a theory. It's just like the theory, you know, it, 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 I, I <clears throat> and that's what happens. Bro, let me go get some cash. Yes. I'll go get some money, you know. You know I don't carry no, you know I carry no cash on me. Yes. But good good conversation. Yes, and to be continued. Yes, to be continued. Yeah. But thanks everybody for watching. Hope everybody had a good day. <laughs> we do know how stars are made. I'm not saying we don't know how stars are made. <laughs> this is a very good conversation. Yes, it is. Uh, and, and this one. What do you can get more of your people with jumping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me put this thing on and then we get out of here. Let me get this, let me get out of here. You have laws and so, you have theories. So you know, and you know, people no, treat theories no, no, as if no, they're, no, people no, treat theories no, as if they're like no, they're, they're, assumptions. They're, nothing, they're, they're nothing. not assumptions. Even law, what you call law, as me, as me, who, who made the law? Math, math made, made the law. It's even, math. Even you're math. Asking, no, no, you're even asking math. who made, who made math. math. The question is who made the math. What we explain math? things through laws, through mathematics. Even, even the math, the math has been made by human beings. Yeah, it's that guy, the, 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 the guy who, cre who, who made it. You're saying like who created one plus one? So which means even humans even, created one plus one. Even the, the I'll be right back. <laughs> Bro, math is math. One, two objects create two things. So who created math? Who created law? Is just the fact that there's nature that there are two things. So you create the law. But that's what a law is. It's, it's something that. Is, no, don't think of criminal law. Uh, uh, here we go. Let me get some cash. Ooh, looking fresh though. No, I'm not gonna pay that. Uh, but Thank you, Julie. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for liking the haircut. I was looking really rough these last couple of days. But I thought I'd go live, do the uh, barbershop thing. People kind of enjoyed the last one. So I um, thought I'd do it again. So I, was, I don't have no cash. I was going to go to the cash point right there, but they charge you like, I think, a pound 50. So I'll just walk to the little, buy something for a pound. And then, you know, take some money. Take some money out. I carry, might be a Louis watch, but I carry a Louis watch. I carry no, no money in it, ever. Exactly. I'm not saying we don't know how stars are made. Somebody keep, maybe, maybe, you know, gotta realize this is, debate this is conversation so all points aren't always going to be expressly uh explained but uh of course we know how stars are made of course we know these things but he's talking about laws and theories and the difference people need to understand people say oh it's just a theory that irks me it shows the misunderstanding between what a law is and what a theory is and a theory is not a hypothesis it's not an assumption it's made from observation. And it best explains what the observation sees. The law is something that you can mathematically explain. Things don't graduate from theory to law. Not necessarily, not inherently. They don't just go from theory to law. Theory is the highest level that a theory will reach. Thank you. Please define divine. But I'm gonna walk in here. I don't think I can probably film live uh, inside this little a private establishment. So I'm gonna sign this video off. Thank you guys for rocking with me. Yeah, look at that great patch. It's my baby mama drama patch. <laughs> this should be a TV series. His name is Ziggy. So uh, he asked me to go live again, actually. He thought it was great. And so we'll do it again. And. Uh, We'll go live again next time I get my hair cut. So maybe we turn it into a series every time I come. Cause you don't, you never know what you're gonna talk about. At the barbershop, 
it could be anything. You know, you saw we was everywhere. So with that, I'm going to sign this video off. Go get some money, go pay them, and then go the rest of my day. So I'll talk with you later. Bye.